Hi, my name is Ann Kostecki, and I'm here today to teach you about how to paint watercolor food, specifically a watercolor chocolate chip cookie like this. I will teach you about which colors I usually mix and my traditional methods of illustrating food, which can be a little challenging for some people, and um, I'm excited to show you, so let's get to it. Okay, to paint something like this cookie today, what you're gonna need is your brushes, probably like a size six watercolor brush, maybe a four, depending on how large your canvas is. This is about four and a quarter by five and a half, so it's really small. So use the biggest brush that you have available. And for my colors, for my paints, ultramarine blue, yellow ochre, burnt umber, burnt sienna, and a pink or reddish color. I use permanent rose. I know a lot of other painters use like opera rose. Honestly, um, a little bit of cadmium yellow wouldn't hurt either, but um, yeah, whatever you have available, you really only need a couple of colors and um, let's get started. One other thing I wanted to mention is start with a pretty strong sketch. I actually usually work off of photography, but if you have a fresh baked cookie, that's probably the best way to go. Uh, but if you don't, you can just look up a photo on the internet or a photo that you've taken and make sure your sketch is pretty accurate where all the chips go and the wrinkles and any other aspects of your food pastry or other type of item that you're going to draw today. Usually what I do is I start off with a thin wash of yellow ochre mixed with a little bit of burnt or raw sienna, depending on how warm the color needs to be. For this particular cookie, I did just a plain yellow ochre. Now, important thing to consider is make sure your drawing is exactly the way you want it and you have your chocolate chips located or what other details are on your pastry. Now look really closely at your reference image or whatever's in front of you if you're doing a still life and locate where all the darks are. And for this particular image, it's the darkest part of the chocolate chips. So I have a mix of raw sienna or burnt sienna and uh, burnt umber. And to make it a little bit darker, I add a little bit of ultramarine blue, and that adds some nice contrast too. And um, keep in mind that chocolate chips have like a shiny part of them, like the glossy part of the chocolate. And if you're doing another type of pastry, you might have like a highlight on some other details. And keep in mind where those highlights are and paint around them. If you look in the center of the image, you'll see the chocolate chip um, has like an outline I've drawn around it where the dark parts are and where the highlight is. So I mix those browns together, the warm and the cool browns, and I paint the different sides of the chips where the cool side is kind of receding and the warm side's kind of, kind of coming forward. So where I have all the dark parts delineated, I kind of go around and um, once I have certain colors mixed, if they're like the warmer browns or the the cooler browns, I kind of add where those colors are appearing in the image. So like if I'm looking at this particular cookie and I notice that some of the shadows are like a really warm yellowy brown color, I'll add those shadows in and kind of blend them really softly. And then I'll go to the other side of the cookie. I'm like, oh, there's like some warm shadows over here. I'll add some warm shadows over there and blend those kind of softly, making sure to keep things kind of like light because you can always make things darker it's good to kind of start off really light or lighter than something actually is so that you can always add in later and kind of perfect it. I would say one of the most important things about painting or drawing food is to look really, really, really closely at the colors you're actually seeing and not the colors that you think you're seeing. So like if you were drawing a cookie and you thought, oh, the whole thing is like a brownish yellow and you made it all this really pale brownish yellow, it wouldn't have a lot of contrast and it wouldn't be very interesting and it might not even look very realistic. So on this particular one, I noticed there were some pink and blue-ish hinted uh, shadows. So I went ahead and mixed in some pink and blue. If you can see on the bottom part of the cookie, there's some blue shadows and near the center, near the chocolate chip, there's also a bluish, bluish purplish shadow and some pink highlights. So like, this will add a lot of visual interest in your food painting and it will make it actually look more realistic. So if you keep paying attention to what you're looking at, at where the highlights and the shadows are, 
I just go through and paint the wrinkles and folds I see in the doughy cookie. And other types of foods have different textures. I would pay attention to them. And if something's sharp, draw, paint it sharply. Or if something's got um, cracks or texture, focus on those and trying to emulate those textures. Um, and keep, keep your brush kind of pointed and use the tip of the brush to give you more details in all these textures. Well, there you have it. I hope that was really helpful for you and you are a little bit more confident on mixing colors and painting food in watercolor. And you might have a chance to paint something like a creme brulee or a cupcake or a Samoa shake. And let me know in the comments um, if this was helpful or if you have any other specific questions and you can always go to my website and contact me. Thank you, have a great day.